Hi ho good people. It is time for a new pattern. Oops, let me turn this so it's not sideways for you. Pattern focus. Scroll down to this one. We're going to do urns. Hmm. Interesting. Did anybody else do urns yet? Nope. Nobody's done urns yet. Come on. Come on, little phone. There we go. Interesting. We're going to end up with that which is very interesting. I like that. Huh. Okay. So first thing we want to do, it appears, is that we're going to have an offset grid, but instead of doing dots or lines, we're going to have rectangles. And a row and then a row in between and a row and a row in between. And I find these to be the most challenging things for me to do. So what I, I'll show you how I draw an offset grid because I find them very, very challenging. My spacing is never quite right unless I do it this other way. So then once we have our rectangles, Looks like we're going to go from corner to corner, from this one down to here, that one to there, to there, to there, to there, to there, and so forth and so on until we've filled up our tile. And then we're going to go diagonal from the top of this box over to the next box. This way, diagonals. Not on all of them. I'm going to leave some. And then, then inside those diagonal triangles, we're going to color them in. So like if this is a row here, we're going to do the triangles there, but we're not going to do this row. We're going to do this row, not that row. This row, not that row. Right? Something like that. That row, not that row, that row. So starting under these, where those ones are, if we stay there, we'll be okay. We just don't want to do this one in the middle. And that's what gives it this interesting shape. This one actually was drawn going the other way, it looks like. That it was drawn going with the diagonals going this way instead of this way. And instead of coloring it in, the stripes. So I really like this sample. The sample kind of speaks to me. So let's just give it a go. See what happens. Um, I'm going to do it on the, the rectangle shape, I think. Turn on my light so I can see what's going on. And you guys can see what's going on. I'm going to give myself a little border, some place to sign my name, some place to put the words. If you're doing a tile or, or a piece of paper or a piece of artwork that, um, and you're not going to draw on the back, you can, you can sign and put your, your name of your pattern on the back. Okay, so what I usually do to make myself a uh, an offset grid is also have one line. I do that one. This one. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Okay. And then I'm gonna do I'm gonna make them kind of wide. Like that. I'm going to do my rectangles here. And then one here. Right? And then here. Oh, I need to put them in the middle. See, I already didn't do it right. Okay. 
Let's do it again this way. First off, I need my border further away from my edge. I didn't even draw this whole thing right. So let's try again. Uh, I have issues with the, with the offset grid. I always do. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger of a border. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to put like that. Okay, then in the middle of these, decide which direction my, my things are going to go. They're going to go long ways, so I'm going to put my rectangle here, like that. Can you even see my grid? There, yeah you can. Okay, I'm going to put my rectangle here. And that's why I needed more of a border edge because I actually need some space there like that see Not talking much because I have to think. The ones where I have to think, I'm much quieter. Okay, so, but it's not offset, right? In order to make an offset in between, like, like, like this is a five dice, right in the middle here, I have to put another one. And now I've got an offset grid. My rectangles are pretty darn big. So we'll see what happens with this pattern. It might come out really cool. It might come out awful. There we go. There's my offset grid. And then it looks like I need to draw from this corner to this corner. and forth like that and Something like that. To be honest, this is not a pattern I would have chosen on my own. So it's always good to um, do things that are outside your comfort zone. Let me turn this around so I can reach better. Um, but I would not probably have chosen this pattern. I was just going through uh, a database and with pictures in it or whatever, I would not have chosen this on my own. But that's not bad. It's, it's, it's better than I had anticipated, to be honest. Okay. So then we want to do a triangle. It goes from here to there, or from here to there, depending on which direction I want it to go. I think I like, 
I like the sample. I like it going this way. So that's where I'm going to go. that. And then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do that same stripe again. Do I supposed to go there or there? Oh, I've already goofed it up. Father Don, you've already goofed it up. You were supposed to go not to there, but to there. Okay, well, that's all right. Just keep going. kind of right and it's kind of wrong. I wish I had done a curve instead of a straight line there too. wonder if I can do these the other way on this other stripe. She's got them not done but I'm thinking if I go right instead of the left and if I curve it like that That's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's different. On these ones, I'm going to do that stripe. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with those.
Okay. I do want to color in my big one. I want to color in these ones, these ones. Okay, um, I have no idea why I wanted it to do that, but because that's not in the step out. I just felt like it. I like it. I think I'm going to put striping in there. Which, of course, is going to make this video even longer. But, you know, you guys know if I'm going too slow, you can speed me up. You can either fast forward or you can use the little gear symbol that's usually like down in this corner on YouTube to uh, speed up the video. And I will go a little faster if you want. It's up to you. I wish my pen would stipple. This pen doesn't like to stipple. Let me try the other one. That's better.
wrong side of that. Oh well. You'll never notice. Almost did it again. name before I get too carried away. And I want to color those in. I think I'm going to leave a little, a little highlight in a arc kind of right along like this. Something like that. Maybe here. If I give a little pencil there, I will remember that's where I want to leave the, the highlight. And I just don't color it into that spot. Like that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Even if it's not very much, if you just leave a little tiny bit of highlight, it makes a huge difference. My mom was telling me uh, this week that through the 23andMe uh, genealogy database thing that she'd found a cousin that she didn't know. Um, she knew the it, it was the it was a descendant of her aunt. She knew the aunt. She knew uh, the um, which would be this girl's great grandmother. Um, she knew the gentleman who would be this girl's grandfather um, and her father. And she knew of her, my mom knew of her sister, but the family had lost contact. Um, and so my mom did not know that this young lady, this was the younger sister. Um, but she had put a profile out on 23andMe, the DNA one, and said, you know, is, it, is there anybody else out there who is related to me. My mom 
contacted her and said, yes, yes, as a matter of fact, we are related to you. And gave her the whole genealogy history. And then the girl never contacted her back. My mom said, it's not unusual. You, you reach out with the information that somebody wants on their genealogy and they never contact you back and say, you know, thanks for the information or I'd really like to meet you or anything. They just like drop off the planet. It's kind of rude. I mean, if you've gone out, I've never gone out and, and wanted this information. Now my mom has it all. So any information my mom has is all automatically, um, related to me anyways. But, um, I think if you are going to be one of those people who put it out there into the world and say, I want information about my ancestors because I'm really interested. And then somebody responds to you and is actually related to you. And then you don't write to them back. I think that's just rude. Then why did you put your stuff out there in the first place if you really didn't want to actually have com communication and contact with somebody who may be related to you? <sighs> Almost done. Almost done, people. We're getting closer. Oh, I like that. I like how, how, what happened there. I want to put a little bit of shading and then I'll be done. I want to shade here along, along this edge. Maybe even more on one side than the other. Maybe more on this side. A little less on this side. Almost missed, almost missed a part. Okay, a little bit of blendy blendy. Find my stump. Don't want the big one at this time. I think I want the little one. Soften those edges. got a little too carried away with my uh, with my shading. I've got it too much there. So what I can do is I can just grab my kneaded eraser, make it into sort of a pointy like shape, and I can just dibble right in here, lift just a little of that. I'm not like not scrubbing. I'm just tapping and lifting a little tiny bits of that pencil off of there just to give a little bit more of that highlight along that ridge. The brighter the highlight, the more um, that seems to be of a curvy shape. The closer it seems to you. Alright. Oh, I'm happy with that. That's good. Okay. 
So you guys have a really great day. I will see you tomorrow on our next pattern. I think I'm going to stop and have some lunch before I go and do any more drawing. But I'm going to get a bunch done today because I have things to do the rest of the week. I don't have time. So today is it. Today is my drawing day. So I want to try to get as many of them done today as I can. I will see you guys tomorrow on the next one. I'm going to stop and have some lunch and I'll be back. See you guys later. Bye-bye.